Hello everyone. Now I'm on a construction site in the Philippines and they will do now the 1000 mm electric fusion joint. And as I promised long time ago, I want to show you the production or the, the procedure of the electric fusion in real. Here we have already the team. The team is working with two electric fusion machines. One is here and the other one is here. We have a generator inside the car for the power. They are using 230 volts and they are preparing the pipes outside of the trench and they will be installed in the length of 16 meter in one shot inside the trench later. They just finished one electric fusion joint here and now they will start the next one here. The pipes are already jointed together. They put a tensile chain around to increase the tensile strength of the socket around the spigot to provide a good jointing. Here you can see already our 230 volt electric fusion machine and they are ready to enter the barcode to get the data of the joint. Okay, what's your name? Hi, I'm one. He's one and he will do now the joint. He has all the little barcodes prepared. And he will now read the barcode with the electric fusion machine to prepare the welding. The wires are already corrected on the other side. The pipe is very hot, so better I don't touch the pipe. So we scan the 1000. And yeah, there's the green light, that means... So, green light, it means everything is correct. And the little welding machine made a beautiful beep. And now we will see how the jointing is done. So I will go close. Here you can see the actual time running. We need 1002 seconds. You see the applied voltage. You can see the resistance of the wire and the applied ampere. So now we have to wait just 1000 seconds or 1990 seconds and then the welding is done. Of a pipe, 1000 mm. The connection is done here with the welding machine and inside you have the wires you have this tensile chain and during welding you can see happy people laughing and having fun <laughs> as soon the time reached two thirds of the welding time they will re-tighten or increase the stress on the tensile chain around to get a good secure joint Uh, again, I have to say so sorry for the bad audio. Even I got this beautiful Christmas present from my son Maximilian. Thanks, Max, a lot for your microphone, which I could or which I should use during my videos, especially construction science. And I'm so sorry I forgot it in German. But next time, I will try to improve the audio quality. Of course, next time means after my next trip back to Germany and back to somewhere. So, you can see, this is really an easy kind of jointing. And it's 100% water and airtight. It's good against wood penetration, so no infiltration and no exfiltration for the next 100 years. Now they will untighten one chain after the jointing and they will put it on the other side. And now he will bring the chain to the other side. 
and I will be very useful today and I will carry the tools so that he don't have to come back. So nobody will say that I'm a useless person on a construction site. At least this is what I hope. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I like to say goodbye for now and I hope to see you soon in this channel. Bye bye and have a nice remaining day.